Howdy, y'all. Well, it's the next day, as you can see. Oh, I forgot ice cream in my pocket. Um, last night, uh, I did get a little tired of making all the short video clips because they're on my phone and the radio's on my phone and everything. But, so just an update what I did. I did take the head off, like you guys saw. And uh, here it is. And there's a gasket for it. I took the head off, and I came to the conclusion that, if you don't remember, the reason you can turn it, wait a minute, let me fix this here, the reason you can turn it, the flywheel, a little bit, and then it stops, is because one of the valves is stuck, alright? And I really should have realized that last night, but it was late. Now, the one valve moves, now these are the two valves and this is your piston, alright? Get that out of the way. Now this valve moves, as you can see, and so does the piston, alright? But this one doesn't. Now I was looking online and I asked uh, Redneck Byron what I should do, and he told me to take a flathead screwdriver and uh, Try to pry up on the uh, on the spring under there. This is the one that's not moving. But um, I tried that, and it just doesn't work. That thing is stuck. But if you look in, because this is the exhaust valve, you look in there, and uh, it's just really corroded. Like uh, it's amazing. Whereas you go to the you go to the, uh, um, what should we call it, the, uh, the gas valve, whatever it's called, and it's nice and, I mean, it's skunky, but it's not as bad. But, so, that's where we're at with that. So, now I'm just really trying to get that valve unstuck, because, I mean, that's the problem with it. Um, and then once I get that fixed, then I'll figure out why I can't pull the recoil when it's on a flywheel. But, so yeah, it's a little chilly in the garage today. Look outside. You can see those whole trees moving. And it is just... We got a wind advisory today for 30, not for 35 mile an hour winds. But I think it's more like 40, 50 mile an hour winds because we're, we're right in the middle of a cornfield so it's nice and open. And of course my shop's not heated here so you know, but, so, um, like a fool, I'm going to eat an ice cream sandwich and drink a cold pop, don't ask me why, and, uh, I'm going to try to get that valve unstuck, so I'll be back in a couple of minutes, or, you know, when there's something to update y'all on. Well, folks, I've tried everything I can think of, and I've tried everything I can find online, to get this valve unstuck and it just won't come loose. I washed in there a little bit better and uh, that didn't work. I pried on the spring with the screwdriver, didn't work. I pounded on the valve itself a little bit, that didn't work. Um, I can't think of anything else, and I can't even find anything else online. So, um, because I can't get the valve unstuck, which I know is a problem, um, I'm just gonna, you know, finish tearing it down and playing with it. Uh, so I'm gonna figure out how to take the flywheel off. Actually, this is a flywheel. I'm gonna figure out how to take the flywheel off, and then, which should be pretty simple. And then I'm going to uh, take the case off and then get on the real inside of the motor. So I'm going to take the flywheel off and I'll be back in a minute. All right. Well, you can probably hear the wind outside because it's like friggin' unbelievably windy out there. But. Um, I, I figured, you know, I'm not stupid, I figured I was going to need a, a, a flywheel puller kit, 
Um, but I could have swore I had this loose before. But apparently I don't. So that's not coming off because I don't have one of them pullers with me. Um, so, um, yeah, pretty much nothing to do with it now. Um, I mean, you know, you got some cast aluminum there, but, you know, whatever. Um, so, basically, it's all going in the scrap pile. I mean, I got these parts. Good carb. Good block. That's about it. Good. Well, that's about it. But, uh, I couldn't sell them because they're too outdated. So, um, to kind of commemorate the last repair video that we're doing of it. Oh, and there goes the knife. Um... We are going to just, I don't know, give it a couple good night wax. That probably didn't hurt anything because it's only a rubber mallet, but it's always fun. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so we're probably just going to take this out and make a target practice out of it uh, because it's really no good with that stuck piston that I can't seem to get. Um, I wanted to just take the flywheel off just to, just to take it apart more and play with it, but I don't have one of them pullers. So, um, yeah, I reckon that's it for it. And, uh, yeah. These are all the parts we got left over. Them are the uh, head bolts. There's the head flywheel cover, air cleaner carb, there's the actual cover, um, but yeah, that's about it. Stay tuned for a, a shooting video, um, I think a 12 gauge in the sun at, I don't know, 150 feet would be pretty cool, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that probably won't happen because we'd have aluminum all over the yard. Anyways, um, maybe a 22. That'll be okay. Um, anyways, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, Y'all remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, you know, if you don't like me, just do it for the sake of randomly taking things apart. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna put my tools away here. And, uh, we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.